Hey family, what's up world, it's being willing to come back to another video. <laughs> um, it's crazy out here family, you've been in the garden a while, you know what I'm talking about. Let's think about this for a minute. And guys, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Like I said, I don't do this for the money. I can care less about it. But I do care that as a teacher and as an educator, you know, I just want to get information out there that, you know, give you food for thought. Because what you think is ain't. You dig? Your reality that you think you're living in is really not that particular reality that you wake up to every day. Remember, we die every day. Okay, but there's no such thing as death. When you go to sleep and you're unconscious for the four, five, six, seven, eight hours, you're totally oblivious to what's going on. But then when you wake up, and the matrix is back on. Think about this for a minute, fam. I, if you've been here a while, I've said on different occasions that, of course, politics is politics. I work in a school district where, you know, and I'm be honest with you, I'm the man, the myth, and the legend. I'm Coach Willie. And so I touch lives. You know, I love my students. My number one rule is respect. Because like I say, a kid, a young man, a young woman, they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And so I've been able to do this 22 years just on that. Right? And so I already know that any school I go to, I'm going to be successful because my objective is to make sure I do a, I'll be a positive influence on the students that come into my existence. You dig? And so teaching them respect, teaching them consciousness is something that I put on my priority list. Even though I'm teaching PE, even though I'm teaching history, even though I'm teaching science, math, language, arts, history, but there's something more to this education thing, family. And teachers like myself are frowned upon and not really appreciated because we're not robotic. See, I'm that student when I was a kid that raised my hand and asked a question. And when the teacher says something, I'm asked, well, why is that? Right? They frown upon that. I love that. And so when you're looking at politics today, think about this. This is crazy. The president of the United States, his son is on trial for gun charges and drug charges. The ex-president was just on trial and convicted of 34 uh, 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 charges. And that's the, that's the previous president. Now, who's running for president this year? Biden and Trump. I mean, come on, man. You can't make this up. Why, at the same time, you have, you know, Ukraine war, the Israel war, the border situation, and... Who's the one that's being neglected? Us. And no one cares. How do you how can you take this seriously? The current president, who's if you've seen him lately, man, the dude eyes can't even open. He can't walk, he can't talk. He's obviously having some mental uh disabilities. And then of course, oh, what about Trump? He damn near 80. I mean, where is it that there's no fresh voices of leadership? There's no fresh voices of, of politics or, or, or governing. I can tell you this. <laughs> if we're allowed to let what's going on go on, and like I said, a lot of the cats don't know what's going on. Here in Texas... The governor just passed a law saying that they can allow school vouchers. What are school vouchers going to do? That's going to totally destroy public schools. But it's only certain people that's going to benefit from that. I mean, if you live in a neighborhood that's low, you know, you're in a low economic neighborhood and your child has to ride the bus to go to school, then that school voucher is not going to help you if you can't take your kid to the school of your choice. It has to go to the school in the neighborhood or in the district. So you're basically allowing, you know, parents and students that have higher financial stability 
to be able to make better choices for their kids. While those who live in these low economic areas, a school voucher is not going to help you if you can't accommodate, if you can't take your take your kid to school, uh, you know, if you can't buy the uniforms necessary for them to be at those particular schools. It just, I mean, it's just a cluster F. It really is. And it's all predicated on deception and lies. I mean, you look at T.D. Jakes. What's going on with him? Come on, man. This dude is a homosexual, a pedophile. And the only reason I say pedophile, because it's going to come out that a lot of these cats that he was in these relationships with were under 18. Or they was under 18 when he was messing with me. Remember, you remember Bishop Eddie Long? That's why I never, ever put my total, you know, confidence in another man. Especially if it's another man teaching at the pulpit, but living a double life, which all of them normally do. Your 100% understanding, understanding, and overstanding is supposed to be in your own self-reliance, your own understanding of the most high. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? You gambling. If you didn't see my last video, sports betting uh, versus uh, stock market betting, it's the same thing. Only difference is you betting your spirituality on another person, which is totally, totally out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? So, I just want to come back with a little. I just, I just thought it was kind of crazy. I'm sitting up here watching the Tell a Lot Vision. There's a, you know, presidential election in, you know, in what five months? Doesn't even seem like it. You have a couple of these wars going on. No one is talking about how many of our U.S. soldiers are dying. All these billions and billions of dollars going overseas. Illegal immigrants getting $5,000, shelter, medical care, schooling, all of these benefits that U.S. citizens over here are not receiving on a regular. Man, this is crazy, family. But, like I say, no one's paying attention to it. Why? Because when you put stress on people's lives, you ain't got time to worry about things that's not important. Because, see, when you have to pay your light bill, you know, your gas bill, you got to pay your rent, you got to pay your car note, you got to take care of your kids, you got to buy food, gas. The last thing you're worrying about is politics or what's going on at the border or what's going on with wars over the country, overseas. But that's by choice. I mean, that's by, by design, rather. So, family, stay up. <clears throat> In the meantime, between time, family, may the most high society you bring you joy. And to all my Willie boys, Coach Willie, love you. And being Willie's out of 5,000.